Hey, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to set up Spark on your local machine in five minutes or less. A little bit of cheating. I already have Java 8 installed, so you need to get that. But let's get started. So I have a simple Ubuntu machine. I'm going to show you this fancy command called NeoFetch. Neo. Yeah. Oh. NeoFetch, so simple Ubuntu machine, absolutely nothing on it. The only thing I have is Java. So Java version, that's it, Java 1.8. Uh, that's all you need for now. So the first thing we'll do is we're going to head over to spark.apache.org and let's go to the download section. Now within the download section, you can see points one, two, three, and four. So the first one, let's leave it as it is. Let's take the latest one, 3.1.1. The second one, let's take pre-built for Apache Hadoop 3.2. And then you click the download Spark link. That's gonna take us over here. In the HTTP section, let's just copy the first link. Oops. And head back to our code editor. Right, and uh, let's see where we are. E, okay, we'll make a formatting. Can't type today, can't type today at all. I made a software folder, see into that, and I'll download it here with wget and the link we just copied. Now it's going to download. So I've always done this on Linux machines or a Mac OS machine. Uh, it's much easier on a Linux machine. I have not done this on Windows, but I assume it should work almost the same. But one good thing is that the new Windows 10 has something called WSL. That's Windows Subsystem for Linux. That's basically a Linux kernel within Windows. I highly recommend you get that and do this setup via WSL instead of directly on Windows. Is it cheating if I speed this up? It's just the download part. Yep, so once you have it downloaded, what's happening? Yep, we need to untar it. So, x, z, f, spark. And go ahead and rename it to just spark. Okay, and now one more thing we'll do is we home all of our software spark. Okay, we're gonna add this to our path. Path. Then I'm going to do home. Oh, software. Spark. Bin. Okay, we need to source it. Let's just check out if it's working. Oops. Yep, it is. I'm just going to stop it for now. Now, let's go in. Take a look at the example. So, uh, the Spark installation comes with pretty good uh, inbuilt examples. Let's execute one of them. Don't worry about this command now. We'll get to the details in another video. Apache. Spark. 
examples dot spark by and spark. This should work. Yes, it is. Yep. And there you have it. Setting up Spark in five minutes or less. Thank you.